Welcome back to Dilly Squat Gaming, where today we are going after supply delivery. I have a feeling, <laughs> and it's a it's a it's a good feeling that we're gonna take the whole episode just to do this one task. Uh, we basically have to drive all the way over here, pick up two service spare parts, and then we have to drop one off at the the north camp and then the east camp. So. We've got our chain tires on. It's early morning. Truck's fired up. It's nice and warm in here. And uh, yeah, we're off. We're going to throw all wheel drive on. I did put chain tires. Yes, I did put chain tires on. <laughs> had, to, had to double check there for a second. But um, there isn't. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll, we'll go up by road. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take it nice and easy compared to the last episode where we, we got stuck and it took an extra, I don't know, 15 minutes to get everything done. Uh, probably my longest episode yet, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to take it a little bit easier. Hopefully this doesn't take, uh, too long. And who knows, maybe, maybe if it only takes about 45 minutes, we'll call it an episode to kind of balance out the last episode. Uh, because that was, yeah, <laughs> that was, that was crazy. I was actually talking about how I wanted to shorten the episodes. And of course, since I, I said that, uh, I decided to go super long on that episode. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If so, leave a comment on that episode and leave a comment on this episode too. And if you guys are watching for the first time, I have, a oh, I don't know, hundred, hundred and 50 hours at least of uh, SnowRunner gameplay. Uh, so if you want, you can go ahead and, and check it out from the beginning. And uh, you, you'll actually be watching my entire YouTube career. Uh, it started with this game and it's still continuing. I've been doing this now for over a year. <laughs> Hard to believe that time's gone by that fast, but it has. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, check out any of those earlier videos, kind of see how I progress as a YouTuber, and uh, yeah, try to figure out why I'm kind of going the wrong direction. Ah, that's, we gotta we gotta turn right here. So, uh, but yeah. So, anyways, let's get this. Uh, let's try to get this trailer over here. This trailer seems to be doing okay. I, I thought it was a little bit heavier. I still not 100%. I probably should have researched it before I started this episode. Uh, to see if the scout trailer or the off-road trailer is better. Uh, I opted for the off-road trailer because we're obviously going off-road, so it kind of made the most sense, right? Bigger wheels should help it out. Better ground clearance should definitely help it out. Uh, but the problem is it may just be that much heavier. Uh, so, we'll find out. Unfortunately, I did ask him the last episode, but then I realized that that episode wasn't going to be uh, aired until this episode was done recording, so I can't really ask. But uh, anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you think the regular scout trailer is better or the off-road tra trailer is better. I feel like probably could have done a little train with this and, and had a bigger truck haul us most of the way. Give us a little bit more uh, power and traction when we need it, but uh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it with this. This is a pretty good vehicle. It's uh, well capable, well rounded. We're empty right now, which is unfortunate, but. Come on, winch onto something nice. Thank you. There we go. It's not much, but it will do. That one's a little bit bigger, so that should hold a little bit better. And telephone pole. That's that's what we're looking for. These uh, <laughs> this road is not a road at all. And uh, probably, 
probably could have been quicker if we just taken the uh, the ice path, which is kind of my go-to now. Uh, it would have been, it actually would have been a lot smarter because I would have been able to see how much better this vehicle is with uh, with chain tires on on the ice. So you know what, we're getting through this. It's it's not too bad. Fuel may be an issue. We're going to have to kind of play that by ear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We just got sucked into a, a snow drift there. Let me think. Yeah, we definitely want to go left here. A little bit of backing up. Never hurt anyone. Alright, let's weave through here, let's bounce around, let's do all this fun stuff. Alright, where, what direction am I actually trying to go in? I guess we, yeah, we're definitely going straight. Somebody had the sense of putting some logs in back when this was liquid. Probably pure mud. In fact, that just gave me a bright, uh, 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 a good idea. I would, I would like to see some of these maps, uh, the exact same map, but in spring versus winter. Or maybe, maybe what they do is they have seasons in the game, and we, uh, we have to go through the season so some of the crossings might not be possible if it's summer because the river is flowing too fast and you obviously wouldn't be able to do it so you'd have to wait till winter that wouldn't be a bad idea for uh, I guess the next snow runner um, I always thought they should do one where you're in sand you get to play around with sand mechanics and things like that um, so this is the main reason why we have snow to er, chains, uh, because this is pure ice and it's still a little bit slippery, but no way would we have been able to get through there with just regular mud tires. So those instances, uh, it's definitely better to have chains. But yeah, so anyways, that's kind of my thought process on where the next game should go um, and not do anything that Expedition actually I don't want to say that Expedition did have a lot of little uh, interesting mechanics in it uh, I really like the the deflating of the tires uh, that should definitely be in the next snow runner game or mud runner game whatever you want to call it and uh, what else was there there was the the drone the drone, I was like, man, I could have taken it or leave it. I, I think if they did it so that you could reveal kind of more of your paths better. Like, I could have used it the last episode to try to figure out what uh, what path down that hill I wanted to take. Uh, so that it does have some help. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset if it was in the next game. Uh, I just would... Every spare parts, right? Yep. And yeah, that's all he can do here, so. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be upset if it was in the next game. I don't know how much I would use it. Uh, the binoculars, those were also kind of a nice little touch. Uh, although a lot of the time, you're really not going to be able to, uh, to use binoculars to your benefit. Uh, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go right. I'm going to go out this way and around. Okay, we are definitely heavier. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to we're going to be using our winch a lot through here. Hopefully this mud will help us. 
Eh, it's kind of frozen dirt. Not really mud. On snowdrift. Gotta gotta love those birch trees. Alright, let's get on. Let's get this show moving. We're already a third of a way through our gas supply, so that's not great, but I mean we we are heading to our drop-off point, so and if we play this right, we do have a vehicle with uh, gas that we could steal from. And where is it? It's way over here, which is kind of the direction that we want to go anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is actually go the opposite direction. We're going to come through here and then head in that direction. And possibly, 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 possibly go this route. To here. All right, that's a that's a pretty long route, but I think we can do it. <clears throat> Well, that's that's nice and muddy through here. <laughs> I don't know if it's mud or if it's uh, snow. A bit of both. Definitely looks like the road got washed out at some point. There we go. Gotta gotta love these telephone poles. And just get me to the mud. Get me to the mud and ice. That's all I need. All I need. There we go. It's amazing that I actually want to get to the icy road. <laughs> Definitely get to uh, pick up the pace on this ice. But uh, it is still slippery, so you gotta be careful. Definitely gotta be careful. I keep forgetting we're in Russia. It's been a while since I've seen a sign. I haven't I haven't actually gone the route of a road in in a very long time. Um I'm gonna guess I'm not gonna wanna go that direction. Alright, well it looks like we're cutting across this little patch of ice. And uh, it also looks like we are just going to floor it and try to shoot up the, the snow bank as fast as we can. Fourth gear, I would have I would have liked to have been in sixth gear, but fourth gear, that worked out fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, where are we? We gotta go... Let's, uh... Ugh, I put that in the wrong spot. You know what? We're just gonna deal with it. Like, I'm so close to it. I'm so close to it. Can I just back up? Oh, 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 oh! Now this thing turns too fast. Go figure. You know what? I should be close enough. Yay! Okay. That was that was totally worth it. Okay, and I think this is where we kind of sneak through here but for some reason for some reason I went way over there 
with the marker. Is it gonna allow me to... Yeah, it should. Yeah. Half of the fun of this, this journey today is going to be just getting our waypoints to, uh, accept the fact that we're close enough. Back down the hill we go. Going on the ice road. <clears throat> ice road truckers. I haven't seen that show in quite some time. Alright, we still want to be careful here because we can still completely screw this up. Especially hauling a trailer if we start to fishtail. Uh, we need to get on that side of the ice. I don't think we break through ever. Oh, we do. Do I want to try to push it? Yeah, I got chains. Come on, as long as we can get the trailers through. See, I think we would have been stuck if we didn't have chains. I think that gives you enough grip on this ice to, uh... To not fall through. Or at least, uh, at least dig your way out, not fall through. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, 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 stay out, stay out. Ooh, that was close. Probably should have opted just to go over the rough patch of ice. That's, that's fine. We made it. All right, we're down halfway through our fuel. I think we should be, yeah, there's our fuel repair, or uh, refill point. I think we can go this way. Yeah, straight on through. So I, I brought this tanker out here thinking, oh, we'll use this up really quick. This may be the first time I've actually used it, besides bringing it out here. Okay, and I stole the fuel out of the truck, not the, uh... Whatever, it's fine. We're full, we're good to go. We're gonna go around... This way, I'm gonna stick towards the bumpy ice versus trying to go over this, uh... Half-broken ice. Probably take, yeah, just a little bit of damage. <laughs> I mean, a lot of damage, actually. That was kind of crazy. Um, okay, I was a little nervous that that was going to be breakable ice there for some reason. I don't think I've ever seen it where it formed a circle like that, so it scared me. I think it was a little typhoon or uh, whirlpool or something. Right, I think, again, rough ice is going to be better. Definitely going to have more traction on it. We don't have to worry about falling through it. This, though, this looks sketchy up here. Yeah, see, it's start. it wants to break. But at the same time, we are pretty light. We were in a uh, dairy or the Azov or anything. We uh, we would have fallen through that no problem. Speaking of Azov, I haven't used it on this map yet. I'm uh, a little disappointed in myself for not using it yet. It's usually my go-to truck. Although the dairy seems to be uh, holding its own here, so I'm quite impressed by it. I know a couple of you guys are also. <clears throat> Whoa. Alright, we don't have any winch points through here, so we gotta be, uh... We gotta be careful, maybe... Maybe just take it nice and easy. Keep it on low. Keep the vehicle's momentum going. Go around stones and boulders like this.
Come on, dig in, dig in. You can do it. Come on, little ads off. Er, ads off. Jeez, screwed that one up. <laughs> Come on, little yar. My fighting bull. The good news is, is uh, once we drop off at the north camp. We are moments from doing. We will be just that little bit lighter. So we should be able to get through things like this a lot easier. Still, building up momentum though is just not, not happening in this deep snow. Okay, so this is where I'm suffering with chain tires. For sure. But I still I still wanna say that, you know, for at least this path that we're taking, um it's definitely worth using chains. Cause at least we're moving. If we uh had to do that with uh mud tires, I don't think we would have gotten out of that spot where we broke through the ice the first time. I was actually nervous that we weren't going to be able to get out of it uh, with the tires we have, so we're probably going to have to bring in backup. Alright, let's drop that one off. Perfect. I like how it takes the back, too. One, that's easier to unload, unless you have a forklift. Two, uh, the weight for towing a trailer is evenly just distributed between the vehicle and the trailer, so I don't want to say evenly, but you know what I mean. It's definitely better distributed. Anyways, um, did I accept this challenge yet? Yes, I did. Perfect. Uh, where are we going? We are going... I don't know where we're going because we haven't gone there yet. Kind of, yeah, I think we go this way. We'll head up this way, we'll sneak around that way, we don't go that way. Uh, do we go... Yeah, I think we go this way, and then we'll pop out here somewhere. I don't think we're going to be able to climb up and over like we did last time, so we're going to have to go back through this alleyway that uh, I said we would never have to go back through. Yeah, that was a slight lie we are going to have to go back through it. Uh-oh. What are we stuck on? Oh, of course. There it took the, the right one. I think we're stuck on some little protrusion. I like how it always snaps to the weakest tree. Turn us. There we go. Now we can probably attach to that tree. Oh. That tree's not really going to help. Neither is that one. Where am I going? I feel like a dumbass right now. Why did I not? Uh, you know what? That was my fault. I should have went through the trail. The little shortcut that I made in the last episode. Didn't even think about that. 
I was just trying to get to that uh, blue little marker. But I think we can go through here because we do have a snorkel. And we have trees to winch onto, so that shouldn't be a problem. Although it is a little bit. Uh, let's just jump in the vehicle and catch our winch that way. There we go. Nice strong tree. Oh, it's so nice to get a nice strong tree. Even that one's not so strong, but it's strong enough. I'll just get that one out of there. It's no problem. The tree will just slowly melt into the, uh, the terrain. I wonder why they did that. Why didn't they just have the tree disappear? They just have it slowly way. We gotta stay right to those rocks. Those are gonna cause us some issue. Come on, get up there. Yeah, we got a long ways to go still. Now oh, we could go this way. Let's check the map real quick. It doesn't really matter, does it? We're kind of cutting through once we get around that rock, so... I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? looks like a road here so let's follow that um is it that's kind of a road that goes nowhere let's see if we can squeeze through these trees i know the last time i said that i regretted it Definitely regretting it. Right, let's go. Let's go this direction. Let's go. Now we're here. Should be able to squeeze through there. to manage this a little bit better. I think if we... There we go. Oh, it's always nice to have trees around. Until it's not. Are we not going to fit with this trailer? Hmm. 
Uh oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, the trailer's wider than the uh, truck is. That's not great. All we need to do is get through here. Come on, squeeze through. Like, I can see the gap right there. Oh, oh she's twisting, it's twisting. Oh, can I do that? Maybe that will work. I pick there and there. Can I get the trailer to lift up? Oh, look at that. Um, is that going to help me? I think it's going to help us. Let's, uh, let's do the same thing, but now from that side. Come on, get over that. Get over that hump. Come on. Oh, I can't believe we're actually going to get this through. I know I spoke too soon there, but... Feels like... Feels like we can do it. Okay, this looks like a spot to detach the trailer. And I'm gonna try to pull it from afar. We're gonna put the back of the truck right up against that rock. Actually, let's let's see if we can just pull it from here. Come on, you. Looks like it, we should be able to get it out now. On. Let's try doing this. Let's try to attach that side to there. Attach that there. I feel like we should be through by now. Come on. I think we're through. I think we're through. Yes, we're through. Oh, man. All right, can we get over all these rocks now is the million dollar question. Okay, let's detach the trailer. Let's get it kind of going down this down slope and then hopefully we can pull the trailer. Come 
on, use our use our weight. Come on. Okay, the trailer's inching along. I think we're okay. Go ahead and hook back up. Even just trying to back up to this thing is taking a lot more effort. No attachment points, really. Hmm. Alright, let's try to go down the hill a bit more. That's not the right winch point. Oh, don't tell me it's stuck. We're finally on the move. Um, this doesn't show any of those trees. I'm hoping that means that the road is before the trees. Yeah, like, I feel like the road should just be on the other side of that rock. We're just going to go nice and slow, take our time. Maybe the off-road trailer was a bad idea. I, I swear I've tried this before in probably Michigan or Alaska. And I want to say the off-road trailer felt so much heavier. One of those things. Maybe, maybe that should be another test video, but I don't know. The test video I made didn't really work out great. I mean, I solved, I solved some issues or questions that I had. Uh, I can't really say it was amazing. So, all right. Now that we can uh, actually get on the said road. Maybe we can get this done. Maybe. Okay, where where's the road? Oh, it goes left first. Okay, back up. Back up and uh, try not to crash. Yep. Let's just go up and over those rocks. That's fine. The, the road goes that way? Oh, my trailer's never going to fit through there. I don't think my vehicle will fit through here. Well, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look like we're... Uh... Doesn't look like we're going to be making a 45 minute video. Get the trailer around it. Oh, 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 no. You settle down there, trailer. Uh, I think there. And that tree right here. <laughs> this is not the trail. You can't get a motorcycle through there. Uh, I should have I should have went right. Should have went right. Let's see if we can get I don't know if we're going to be able to get this trailer through.
Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. You know what? You now attach the winch. To one of these trees. Wherever said tree is. Perfect. Okay, that took extremely way too long. Oh. We've got another cliff to go down. A little bit more playing around with the uh, the winch and the trailer. I think that tree there is going to be strong enough. You're joking, right? All right, let's try the back of the trailer. Uh, let's go to let's go to morning. Let's go to afternoon. Screw it. <laughs> let's see what we're kind of dealing with here. I feel like we should be able to just to yank this through. What are we hung up on? We are hung up on. We're hung up on that tree. Okay, perfect. All right, now that I know that, because I can see, we can actually go back to on this tree right there. Back up. Okay, let's try that one more time. You know what? Try that one and maybe that one. We get it. We got it. We got it. We're good. All right. That uh, that took extremely way too long. So if you guys do this mission, um, definitely, definitely, definitely uh, don't go that route. Go don't go this route. Come this way and down and around. That's your that's your uh, money maker path. That's your, your easy spot. Now hopefully we can do the rest of this in 15 minutes. Because I do want to end this episode pretty much on time. Right at that one hour mark. Trailer should be okay. We shouldn't have an issue getting over those. Kind of nice having the bigger tires, I think. Alright, I lied. We need a little bit of help. Oh, uh, the million dollar question is, is, is this trailer... Oh, you know what I didn't think about? 
Is this trailer too wide to get through here? Is this normal scout trailer skinnier? If that's the case, I'm an idiot. I gotta be really careful through here, make sure that we uh, don't have any more narrow spots that I might get hung up on. Uh, here's ice. I never. Never been so happy to see ice. Also, I have to be careful not to uh, flip us or the trailer. Okay, I, I feel like I've done a pretty good job not flipping the trailer, but I haven't yet. Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock that out of the way. I think, I think the tough part is over. Yes, it is. Yep, there we go. Look at that. We are now complete. Go ahead and drop this cargo off and get paid. Not bad, 8350 8, bucks to our, um, add that to our 1.6 million <laughs> that we have. Um, and accept. Yeah, we are, we are good to go there. I wonder something. Uh, I gotta go check something out real quick. I know I wanted to end the episode a little early, but I just had a, a kind of fun brainstorm. Oh wow, I didn't think you could flip those. Hmm, that's kind of scary. I want to see if... If I did a anchor point, could I bring a bigger truck and yank this trailer across? I know, it seems kind of stupid, but at the same time, Yeah, see, I don't think you can. I think it takes into the account how deep your train goes. And I don't think you have enough room. Hmm. Although, again, I do have a smaller trailer, so... The trucks might have a longer train. Um... I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to detach that trailer and I'm going to recover this vehicle. Yep, it's done. I'm already going I'm already going to try it. Um what vehicle is probably the easiest to get all the way over there quicker? Um Yeah, you know what? The Zeke hasn't We haven't really moved. Nope, not recover. Uh refuel. Boom. Let's go see if this has enough power to haul that trailer across. Just for fun. If I lose it, I lose it. Not the end of the world. I have 1.6 million dollars. I could lose one of these trucks and not really uh, worry too much about it. Can't do it very often, but I can do it, so. Now the million dollar question is, am I going to have traction because I don't have chain? I think I will. It's kind of rough ice there, right? So that should make sense. Should give us enough crack. There's a good chance I may just end up losing the trailer altogether. Which, you know, it's a possibility. 
I don't remember how much the off-road scout trailer is, but I don't think it's more than 8,000. You know what? It's been a while since we've been in this vehicle. It's kind of a, a nice change to switch it up. Tell you the truth, it didn't take us that long to get here either, so kind of a bonus. Of course, we're still a good ways away, but we're making good time. Hopefully. <laughs> I probably should have left the trailer, or the uh, the one vehicle there to push it closer to the edge. Cause honestly, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind if we're so close, like we just get to the edge and then it doesn't accept it. I think we have the extended advanced bunch on this, so hopefully it gives us enough room. Hopefully. Alright, there should be. Let's uh, slow down so we don't uh, accidentally. Okay, we can we can push things into the water. Oh, we can't reach it. I was afraid of that. Man, that's annoying. There's there's no way we can put like the front wheels of this thing off. Yeah, nope. We're we're not gonna be able to reach it. That's annoying. Alright, well on that bombshell, I guess we will end this episode. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll probably leave that trailer there forever because I don't think we ever need to come back to this uh, part of the map. Which is, uh, well, it makes me kind of happy. So, anyways, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.